couple of videos, I created a folder which is called James Website. And inside the James Website folder, I created an index and I created a main CSS. So this is an HTML page and this is the main CSS. And if I double click on this, you can see what the page looks like. And at this point, this is fetching the style in for the cascading style sheet, which is the main.css. Now, if I just open that one up, so I'm going to right click, I'm going to open in OPAD. You can see at the moment the color of the main section is set as green, which is why I'm seeing that horrible green text at the bottom, which is something I did last time. So I just changed that to white to start with because I think it's slightly more pleasant. Save it and refresh the page. You should see this now turn to white. And at least we can see that the HTML is fetching the cascading style sheet. Now there's a few things I want to do today, but basically we want to set up in order to be able to produce additional pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a navigation bar here, and that's going to have an unordered list, basically some bullet points in. This section is going to become the main section. Now we've already created that division last time, and then we're also going to create an overall uh, division, which we're going to call container. Okay, so to do this, we're going to do the following. We're going to start by opening the HTML document. So we're going to click on index.html and we're going to open that with Notepad. And I'm going to put the divisions in first. So we've already got this main division. So division class main starts there and ends there. We're going to create a new one just after the body here, which we're going to call division class nav, because it's going to be the, become the navigation section. And I'm going to end that division there. And I'm going to create another one, which I'm going to call division class container, which will wrap around the whole page. And I'm going to end that division there. Now this looks a bit strange because you've got this closed division, closed division thing happening, but one of those is closing the main and one of those is closing the container. Now if I press save on that, you should see that that has made no difference at all because all we've done at the moment is set some uh, divisions up. We haven't applied anything to them. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bullet point list. So we're going to create an unordered, an unordered list. So I'm going to use a heading two for my title and I'm going to call this menu. You're obviously welcome to change the sizes and um, uh, change what it's called. Then what I'm going to do is create an unordered list. So an unordered list starts with a UL and ends with a UL. And then the list items inside them are LI, and then what you want it to be called. So I'm going to call this page one. That's probably better if I call this my home page. And then we end the LI. And we're going to call this LI again, so list item. And this one could be called page one or page two. Debate that. And again, we need to close the list item. Now, if we save that, what you should see now is at the top of the page, let's just check I've done that correctly. Okay, it looks like it's not worked, but the reason it's not worked is I've not scrolled up. Okay, if you scroll up, you'll see the menus appeared here. Now, eventually we want to make these into links. So what we're going to do is make the home page into a link to this page and page one into a link to additional pages. And the way we'll do that is we'll do that by making this into a link. So we'll do it like this. So it's an A and then it becomes an H reference, okay, which is equal to index.html because it's looking inside the main file. And we close that. And then after the home page, we close the A. Now if we save that and refresh the page, you should see this is now a clickable link. But it's a clickable link that takes us to the same page. So it's not very exciting at the moment. And also this is still not separate. So what we now need to do is we need to go back onto the main CSS and we need to start to split the page. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna split it into um, three basic sections. So the main CSS needs to be on the right hand side. So this is the color of the text, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to leave the uh, background color on this one the way it is at the moment because that, that's probably okay. But what we are going to say is we want it to say, we want it to float on the right hand side. Okay, and we want it to have a width. And I'm going to say I want it to be 80% of the screen. Okay, and again, you can play around with these and make it different. And again, if we save that, what you should see now 
is this section gets pushed across a little bit. This is still saying where it is because this is outside the main bit. And if we want to bring that into the main bit, what we need to do is go back onto the HTML and look at where our main section starts. So the moment it starts here, so what we could do is we can move that up to there, save that, refresh that, and now you should see this section is all on the right, but this is on the left. The problem is this is lower than that one, so it's not quite working the way we want it to yet. So we need to have a little bit of a look at that. So we're going to go back onto the main CSS, and this time what we're going to do is we're going to deal with the nav bit. So we're going to add a dot nav, okay, and on the dot nav, what we're going to say is I'm going to give it a background color, so it looks a bit different. And for the purpose of this one, I'm going to go with blue because black on blue won't be amazing, but it should at least work. Okay. Watch for the difference between colons and semicolons. If you notice, I just made a mistake there. Okay. We want this to be um, position and we want it to be set as a fixed position. Now, the reason for this is we want the right hand side to be scrollable, but we don't want the left hand side to be. We also want to set a specific height because otherwise it won't fill the whole page. Okay, so we can set the height is 100%, and then we're gonna save that. And what you should now see, if you refresh it, is you get a navigation bar that goes down the left-hand side like that, and a page on the right. Now, the one thing I haven't set within the uh, main CSS there, which I should have done, is set a width as well. So what I'm gonna say here is we're gonna set a width and I'm going to set it for, well, that's 80%. So I'm going to set this for 15%. So there's a slight gap between them, so it should allow it to work okay. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to refresh that. And you should see that now, it looks a bit better. If I scroll on the right, well, if I could, I haven't put enough content on there yet, you would see that this moves up and down, but this stays static. And then it's very easy, because what we can now do is we can go back into our uh, index page. And if I want to make an additional page, all I need to do is copy this, paste it, give it a new name. So I'm going to call this page one. Okay. And if I now open page one, so if we open that one with Notepad, all the codes are the same. And I can now just go through and make some changes. So I could call this one page one. Okay, inside the list here, I can now add a link onto this one. So a h reference equals, and because I called it page one, that's why I need to do it here. So I'm going to call it page one dot html. Close the speech marks, close the tag. At the end of that, I'm going to close the tag. I'm going to change the name here to page one, mostly so that when you look at it in a second, you can see that it looks different. And I'm going to save it. Now, this bit here, this unordered list, needs to be updated on every page. So the easiest thing, really, is just to copy it. So I'm going to copy that, save it, go back into my index page here, open that one up with Notepad. Okay, and all I'm going to do here is overwrite that. So I'm going to go highlight the whole of the unordered list and press Control-V. Make sure I haven't messed anything up. Press Save. And now I'm going to go back to my page and refresh it you should see there's a home page, and then below that is a page one. Now the problem is because I've chosen um, a background color that matches the text color, which wasn't very well thought through. Um, you can't see the writing very well, but if I click on it, you should see it lights up when I click on it, and it takes me to page one, and when I click back onto home page, it takes me back to the home page. So you can see I'm now able to move between these two pages quite effectively, and this will scroll down. We've got some additional links here, and we can start to build this in.